First ever dialogue we needed to hear for a time and history such as our Cambodian history, the dialogue by His Excellency President Dr. Jose Ramo Hocta would be at the top of the list. If there was ever such a person qualified to give the speech, His Excellency is certainly a considerable candidate with a lifetime of experiences and acquired wisdom that only comes through successful and during tremendous trials. Yet, like any detailed curriculum vita, you can gain an understanding of the person's accomplishment, but you cannot truly know the history of her or the person. Or the person. One place, one piece of paper can only introduce the person. It can never do justice for his or her story. Therefore, I strongly encourage you to learn more about His Excellency's story through books, articles, and vast material on the Internet. Ladies and gentlemen, one dialogue this afternoon cannot provide us the time needed to get the important wisdom from the President of Timor Leste for the benefit of our recovering development of the Kingdom of Cambodia. The fabric of both of our society contains recent histories of devastating tear and unimaginable blood stain. In a speech on January 14, 2009, before Davao University in the Philippines, President Ramo Hokta remarked, Each and every one of us in our society has to take responsibility for creating conditions for peace. Only in that way can we put up the building block on our peace, block by block, in our countries, in our villages, in our provinces, in the whole country, and maybe in the region and in the world. We are fortunate today that we have someone who now for peace sends in light to the guidance of the national pride, His Excellency, His Excellency President, Dr. Jose Ramos Foktaran, a bridge cell to connect two lands that are separated. President Dr. Ramos Foktaran, you not only to pay attention, but to, con to consider what part of the people block you will put up to work creating. May your endeavor be successful for our sake. Again, 
on behalf of professor or student at the Royal University of Law and Economics, we proudly welcome His Excellency President Dr. Jose Ramo Porta and invite him to bless us with his wisdom and stories. May your sharing inspire and call us to take responsibilities toward establishing lasting, lasting peace. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. May you listen well and gain wisdom from our special speaker today. Thank you for your attention. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, friends, welcome to the third ASEAN event series, Bridges, Dialogues Towards a Culture of Peace. Bridges is facilitated by the International Peace Foundation, which is a non-political and non-religious foundation under the patronage of 21 Nobel Peace Prize laureates, including His Excellency Dr. José Ramos Horta. The events are hosted in cooperation with various local partners and institutions, and I would like to thank the Royal University of Law and Economics and its rector, Professor Yuk Moy, for hosting our event today. Since November last year, more than 50 Bridges events now took place, with a total audience of 20,000 participants, mostly students, Involving the participation of Nobel laureates for peace, physics, chemistry, medicine, and economics, as well as with other eminent keynote speakers and artists such as Chen Long, Hollywood uh, um, film director Oliver Stone, as well as Vladimir Ashkenazi, who performed the Chaktamuk Theater together with his sons. The third ASEAN series of bridges is an independent contribution towards the decade for culture of peace and nonviolence, which was actually initiated by the United Nations General Assembly in the year 2000. It follows the, the series of 350 Bridges events, which the International Peace Foundation has already hosted in Thailand, the Philippines, and Malaysia since 2003. Bridges has been established as an international intercultural and interdisciplinary platform for dialogue and creative cultures of learning and, and continued education for all people. The International Peace Foundation has no concept for peace and no fi fixed solution how to achieve peace, but we believe that the first step towards peace is dialogue and the first step towards dialogue is respect. The International Peace Foundation does not take sides but acts as a mediator by creating an independent platform for dialogue where people meet who normally don't meet. People from all walks of life. People who speak different languages even if they speak the same. As politicians speak another language than artists and business and religious leaders another one than scientists, it is seldom that they speak with each other or even work together. We live in a world where some people pretend to know the answers and solutions, how to solve problems, how to achieve peace, though the quest for peace lies in the art to pose the right questions. The International Peace Foundation believes that the interconnected problems of our world today cannot be solved only by politicians, only by business, only by scientists or by religion alone, but by working together. In the Bridges event series, therefore, people from all walks of life meet in a multidisciplinary program to find creative solutions to solve problems and to achieve peace. Peace within us, ourselves, within our families, within social structures, peace with nature and the environment, peace between nations, cultures, and religions. Peace is a process. Dialogue is a process. It is nothing which can be achieved instantly. It needs time. This is why Bridges is not organized as one single conference, but as a series of events 
over the period of six months in which Nobel laureates and other keynote speakers and artists built bridges with leaders in all parts of society, with the general public, and especially with you, students, the young generation. Peace is not something which can be left to the elite of a few, but which needs the participation of everyone, only if many ways cross and people walking these ways meet, can international understanding be achieved and problems commonly solved? If we listen to and learn from each other, we may discover that there is not only one way to achieve peace, but that there are many ways, and ways we have never thought of to go. As the Bridges event series now comes to its close in Cambodia, and will be continued in the years ahead in other ASEAN countries such as Vietnam, Singapore, Indonesia, Laos, and Brunei. It is my pleasure to invite you today to listen to and share your views with His Excellency Dr. Jose Ramos Horta, the Nobel Peace Laureate and President of the Democratic Republic of Timor-Leste, who has agreed to come to Cambodia to help build bridges. We all look forward to his keynote speech and to his important continued contribution towards peace. Som Okon and welcome His Excellency Dr. Jose Ramos Horta. Your Excellencies, good afternoon, bonsoir. This is my fourth uh, talk uh, in Phnom Penh in Cambodia since I arrived, and therefore I have run out of ideas uh, what really to share with you. And uh, you gave me such a warm welcome when I walk in, but uh, being a University of Law and Economics, if you had heard what I said this morning about economists, you probably would not have given me a great welcome. <laughs> what I said this morning was in the context of the global economic and financial meltdown, was that with so many economists around the world, so many PhDs from Harvard, Stanford, London School of Economics, and maybe from uh, the Royal University of Law and Economics, how come we end up with this world economic financial meltdown? And uh, not being an economist, I'm no longer impressed by all those holding a PhD in economics. But in coming here, in the midst of this great school, I quickly retreat and withdraw my comments of this morning. I don't want to be in an unfriendly environment. My point was only to explain, to illustrate the interconnectedness of the world, how an event taking place, this time in Washington, D.C., or at Wall Street. In 9798, it was the Asia economic financial crisis that began in Thailand and then soon reached Indonesia, brought down the Suharto regime, and paved the way for our freedom and independence, but also in, uh, and paved the way for democratization in Indonesia, and also paved the way for the fall of the dictatorship in Korea and the election of a great man, President Kim Dae-jun. We are in a globalized world, as we can see also from uh, the volcanic eruption that took place in Iceland. It affected tourists in uh, Thailand. In